Hey folks, this is GWH with my video on how to install iOS 6.0.1. So before you begin, I recommend that you back up to iCloud or back up to your iTunes computer that's authorized to back up. Once you do that, I recommend that you close every app that's on right now in the background that would include our settings. I recommend also turn off the sound to save battery. Now you want to restart your iDevice by holding down the home button right there, home button, as well as your lock button at the top at the same time. Get a couple of seconds. It may take a while depending on what kind of Wi-Fi you have. Um, it's this iOS 6.0.1 from Apple Inc, which takes about 35.6 megabytes. This update contains improvements and bug fixes. Let's download and install. Here's your terms and agreements. I'm definitely not going to read over this because it's way too long. That's what she said. So I'm going to skip. I still understand why they have a disagree button at the bottom. Never understand that. But they do. Anyways, let's skip and go to agree. Now, a little window should pop up that says software update. To save your battery, connect your iPod Touch or iDevice to your power while downloading. Do you want to update later or continue without power? Um, let's continue. I'll probably connect this later on in the video. As you can see, it will shoot an estimated time. For me, it would take less than one minute. And also, if you can see in this little tiny window, there is the settings gears that are actually moving. Now, that's really, really cool. I like the little touch. Good job, Apple. So, uh, I probably want to skip this little scene because I'm probably talking through this whole process. So skip right i'm back so it's just say ios 6.0.1 will begin installing in a number of seconds it will be automatically and then this should pop up which says verifying update so this should be successful i don't really have a reason why it wouldn't be unless your ipod or iDevice is stupid but mine's not so let's continue on once that is verified successfully it should be rebooting automatically and the Apple device will flicker on, flicker off, and reboot once again. So it's completely normal. Don't start peeing your pants. Okay, calm down. Right, after that onboarding process has completed, your iDevice should once again reboot itself and get back onto the Apple logo on screen. And I don't even think my camera is going to last so long, the battery is almost drained out. So hopefully I can continue the video, um, Catholic, can you speak? Hopefully I can continue to finish this video because the last part of this video was exit part one and it kind of cut off at like 20 minutes or 30 minutes not really no but um let's continue going on and this right here will pop on once again hopefully this will be way faster than the other process so i'm gonna stop right now and i'm gonna skip the video right about now like i said i hope it was faster and look it was faster so let's unlock our device right now and let's go to our settings hopefully i didn't move it too far finally we get to back to go to general general um let's go to about at the very top and let's go down to right there and under version i should say 6.0.1 parentheses 10a523 parentheses so basically it has completed successfully after a long process we took about i don't know 20 to 30 minutes i wish it didn't take that long um it did drain down my camera battery so i could put this on charge for the next video which is actually my top three best sound begins for your ipod touch or iDevice. this is gwh signing off and have a great night